Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We're here today at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, and we're here with Head of Archaeology, Dr. Brian Rudman. Brian, this is such a cool exhibit you have here. Talk about this exhibit and, and where you guys got this from, because this is, this is a traveling exhibit, correct? That's right, Thomas. This is, uh, was put together by the Field Museum in Chicago, and it's, it's probably the best exhibit on the Ice Age and Mammoth and Macedons that I've ever seen. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, exhibits in here for, for all ages. There's lots of hands-on things for the kids to touch. There's lots of interactive uh, displays for the kids as well. And I think parents will enjoy looking at the videos and learning a lot about the Ice Age animals, particularly the mammoths and mastodons. These are very large uh, animals. This one behind you here is, I don't even know how big it is. Talk about how large these, these animals really were. Uh, they got rather large. The mammoths uh, uh, got up to maybe uh, uh, 16 feet in terms of the length of their tusks. Uh, some were larger than modern elephants, and they were even got down to dwarf size late in time. And they all went extinct about uh, 11,000 years ago at the very end of the Ice Age. So the only way we know about these creatures is through paleontology and then archaeology as well. Yeah, talk about this because you, you, you found these, some of these were found in, in Siberia, some of them were found uh, in North America, I mean they're really from all over the world, aren't they? That's right, a lot of the mammoth remains come from Siberia initially, but mammoth also occurred in North America and even in Ohio. The other kind of animal that's very common in Ohio is the, the uh, American mastodon. Uh, actually, there were more mastodon in Ohio than mammoth, and we have really great collections here at the museum representing uh, different types of mastodons. So you've got a major one here in Cleveland that is going to be a real feature in this exhibit. Right. We're, we're happy to be able to exhibit our Hartley Mastodon, which was a fem female mastodon that was found back in 2001 uh, in a bog in Columbiana County, Ohio. And we were able to acquire it for the museum and bring it here, and it's been studied over several years. And we think there's some evidence that humans might have been involved in either the killing or maybe the butchering of this animal. So these animals were contemporary with humans. Yes, they were. That's what's really interesting, I think, about the exhibit and talking about this subject, because the very ends of the lives of these animals before they went extinct uh, overlap with humans for tens of thousands of years in Europe, but maybe for up to a thousand years here in North America. Some of these, they, they look like elephants. So, I mean, they've got the big, long trunk and they've got the tusks. How, how related are they to the elephant? Well, they're all called proboscideans basically animals with trunks. Uh, and the mammoths are very closely related to modern elephants. They're a very close branch on the family tree. But American mastodons are much more removed. They were probably go back 35 million years ago when they branched off from the line that led to mammoths and elephants. Talk about the liuba that was recently discovered in Siberia, not really too far from Moscow, I guess, north of Moscow. Right, it was an amazing discovery of a complete baby mammoth that was frozen. And it was carefully uh, uh, preserved and studied very closely by scientists. Uh, there's the internal organs, there's DNA. Uh, they learned quite a bit about mammoths, uh, not just baby mammoths, but adults and how they live their lives, what they ate uh, when they were still alive. You've got some rare objects from uh, Clark of Lewis and Clark who gave them to President Thomas Jefferson as well, right? I mean, from his own personal collection. That's right. We have some stone tools, what we call Clovis points, that were found at a place called Big Bone Lick in Kentucky. Uh, and they are some of the first uh, Clovis points to be found in eastern North America. And at the time, it wasn't, they didn't know how old they were, but now we know they go back to about 13,000 years ago, again, when these animals were still around. Congratulations on this exhibit. It looks great. As you said, it's very interactive. It's fabulous. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with us, Brian. You're very welcome. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.